Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today we're going to be doing a comparison of these three similar horizontal planners. They are all 2018 um, year, calendar year. They are Ashley Shelley, Refresh, and Inkwell Press. Okay, so let's first start off by saying that the Refresh is the smallest one. So you can tell that by just looking at it. The Inkwell Press is the typical seven by nine planner. Your Refresh planner is um, eight and a half by just about six and a half. So you have seven by nine, eight and a half by six and a half, and then you have like six and three quarters by um, nine. So these two are a little bit smaller, Refresh being the smaller of them. It does make them feel more portable. I will say that. Um, this Refresh planner feeling the most portable just being this size, but they're all portable planners and they're all great planners. I personally love all three of these planners for different reasons. I think they all make great planners. They are about the same um, thickness, I would say Refresh is the thickest and that is because it has the most note pages. I cannot remember the exact number, but I, I'll look it up and put it here in the video. I think it's about 40 note pages at the end, which that's a big main difference. So we're going to talk about that. If you don't want to have to carry around an extra notebook with you, Refresh has all these note pages at the end. You get a huge amount. Let's see. Here's where December ends. And these are all your note pages. They're just lined note pages. But you get a lot in there. So, all right. We are going to get into these planners. We're going to just, we're not going to do a full walkthrough of each planner because that would make this video very long. If you're interested in any of these planners after seeing this quick view of them, I have full videos on each one of these and I will link them down below in the description box. So let's go into some of the main differences. Size being one of them. Refresh is the only one with a lot of note pages. Inkwell Press is the only one with a band. Okay, so they are the only one that come with a band. Um, Inkwell Press has the most extensive pockets. So Inkwell Press has this pocket right here. This pocket right here, they're all really good pockets. They can all hold stuff wonderfully. And then they've even added this third full hidden pocket all the way down to the bottom there. And then my very favorite pocket on Inkwell Press is this accordion pocket. And why this pocket is so special is because it holds one of Inkwell Press's sewn journals. This is not their sewn journal. This is just what I had in the room with me up here. But their sewn journal is this exact size. This is Inkwell Press's quarterly planner book, but they make sewn journals that are this exact size with graph grid paper. And because they don't have a lot of note pages in here, I love that this sewn journal fits perfectly in this pocket. And at first I thought, well, it's gonna make your planner too big or it's gonna make it hard to write on, but it actually does not. It, it fits, they have accommodated it with the ring that it fits the journal perfectly and it still feels like it doesn't feel like it's bulging anywhere and you can still open it up and completely write flat anywhere so if you are an inkwell press user of the coil bound i would definitely consider getting one of their sewn journals you can carry around a book of notes or grocery lists or whatever you want um, constantly with you so that is something inkwell press has that the other planners don't Refresh, like I says, like I said, has all the note pages. They only have this one small pocket up front. I mean, you can stick some papers in there. It's a good little pocket. And then there's no other pocket at the back. And Ashley Shelley has a zipper pouch that comes with her planner. So this is a really thick, good zipper pouch. And then she has this pocket right here, which you can stick some papers in also. So those are the extent of the other planner pockets. Okay, let's get into the layout of each planner. We're just gonna go really quickly into the main layout. 
something that Ashley Shelley has that the other planners do not have is you can tear off each one of her pages has these little tabs at the end that is perforated and you can tear them off so that it's easy to find which page you're on without having a page marker. So Ashley Shelley does not come with a ruler. Uh, she doesn't sell rulers to my knowledge, but she does have this perforated part to tear off. Each day you just tear off that little teeny end and then you can easily find what page you're on. I really like that that's added in here, but yet you don't have to use it if you don't want to bother with that. If you're marking your page in some other way and you don't want to tear that off, but it actually is a really easy, functional way to find what page you're on, so I really like that. Refresh does not come with a, a ruler page marker, and to my knowledge, they do not sell them. Inkwell Press does come with a ruler page marker, and it's not my favorite out of all planner rulers. Um, it's just, I don't know, I just don't think it functions the best. It's really flimsy, and it goes in and out easily, but it's really flimsy, and I don't love it. It's just, I don't love it. <laughs> My favorite ruler page marker is Get to Workbook, the most functional. And Get to Workbook would actually fit in any O-ring planner. So you could even buy a Get to Workbook page uh, ruler and use it in Inkwell Press or any other O-ring. Okay, I went and grabbed my Get to Workbook ruler because this one's just flimsy. It sticks up too far in my opinion. You can move it down. I don't know, it just doesn't function well to me, okay? Um, that's just my opinion. Get to Workbook, like I said, can fit in any O-ring planner. So you can buy this Get to Workbook ruler and as long as you have an O-ring planner, it's gonna fit. And I love it. I absolutely love the Get to Workbook ruler. It is not too hard like Erin Condren. It's thin. It's not hard to get out like the Erin Condren is. It comes in and out easily, but it has enough to it. It sticks up just the right amount. It actually is a real ruler, and it actually makes it really easy to find your page. And you can buy these separately on gettoworkbook.com. So I just wanted you to know of all the rulers in O-ring planners that I have gotten with planners I've reviewed, the Get to Work book is my very favorite. Of course, I don't know if that's going to work in here. It might be too long. Okay, it works in the Ashley Shelley because Ashley Shelley is longer. Let's see if it works in Refresh. Let's see, you guys. I did not know I was going to go on this ruler tangent, but I'm passionate about things working well. So in Refresh, it actually sticks out at the bottom too because Refresh is... Um, a shorter book so you can see it sticks out of the bottom a little bit but actually that doesn't bother me because it's not that far from the cover so you could still use it in your refresh planner if you wanted to but I just thought I'd show that because I actually like to inform you guys about those things now get to work book does not come with that ruler you buy it separately on our site I think it's about four dollars if I remember right inkwell press does come with their ruler and this ruler comes with every Inkwell Press planner, so you do not have to buy it separately. Okay, so let's get into the page layouts. Okay, I have filled out this week in Ashley Shelley. It just gives you an idea of what a week looks like filled out in it. I already had that done for the Ashley Shelley video. So on your left side is where your timed events go of the horizontal, and on the right side is where your to-dos go, and there's tick boxes, and it says do today and dinner. Your date is right there. And one thing I really like about Ashley Shelley that's, um, I really like that this section is lined also, your notes section is lined, and I like that the notes section is at the top of your week. I don't do as well when the notes section is at the bottom of my week here, like in Inkwell Press, because I just find I need like my weekly list, my notes up here to look at at the top of my week. Okay. Something else that Ashley Shelley has is her monthly word, and she gives you a reminder of that on every weekly page. So I really like that. You have room for your monthly word right here. And hers is just um, a happy planner. The colors she uses, although the colors are the same for the entire year, and that's not really my preference in planners, but they are happy colors, and I like that. 
Okay, let me show you what then when a month ends, this is what the Ashley Shelley monthly look up, layout looks like. <laughs> there are lines on your monthly boxes, which are different from Refresh doesn't have that, Inkwell Press doesn't have that. A lot of planners don't have lines on your monthly boxes. Ashley Shelley does. You get your previous month and your next month view. You get a little note section. And those lines really help me write more neatly because I have been using her monthly only book, which is the exact same monthly layout as this. And I really like those lines. I also like how her weekends are bolded your Saturday and Sunday, because it just kind of makes those days stick out and you can see your weekdays easily. So I like those things about her planner. Then after your monthly layout, you have her um, two page monthly spread for each month. Her um, kind of mantra is create the life you love. And so every month is create the life you love in April. And then you choose a word of the month then what creates happiness in your life that you want to do more of this month and there's five ovals say no to distractions and negativity what are you not going to do this month what do you want to create this month routines and habits that help you create your best days personal goals three big boxes for the month special dates for the month and a monthly bucket list i really like her monthly layout because it's unique it's different it makes me think about things that I would not normally think about and would not list out for the month. But I did list it out for March myself and it made me think of some things that I wouldn't have normally thought about. And I actually really enjoyed filling out, filling out that monthly spread right there. And I never know how I'll feel about the different spreads and the different questions they ask me until I actually just fill it out. But I really like this layout for me. Okay, so now we've seen Ashley Shelley. When her planner ends, you do get a few note pages. So you get a few note pages, maybe five or six note pages. They're just lined, and that is it. That's at the end of her planner. Now, Ashley Shelley does sell notebook besties, which are little notebooks. These are Ashley Shelley's notebook besties, and they are just little lined notebooks, or you can get dot grid. They're really durable covers. They are not sewn, though they are stapled, but my books like this of hers that I've been using have held up really well. But what I haven't tried is to see if it fits in her pocket here, if you needed extra notes. Let's see. It does fit. Now, I would say it bulges a little bit. It's not like the Inkwell Press where it fits in at the back perfectly. I would say it's a tight fit, but if you want to carry around an extra notebook with you, that actually does work. And you can still actually write well. Um, it feels a little bulgy when you're in January, but um, yeah, that actually works in there. So her little notebook works. Probably any little thin notebook you could find would work this size. The thinner, the better. If this was a tiny bit thinner, it would be better. But that is her notebook bestie. Okay, let's get into, so now we've seen that weekly layout. A very similar weekly layout is in Refresh. Okay, I wanted to lay out two blank weeks here. I just kind of wanted you to be able to see it side by side. Um, they both have a similar setup in that timed appointments go on the left, check off tick boxes are on the right. They just have a different look. You have less room in the refresh, you can tell. There's less lines, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines here, and one, two, three, four, five lines to write on here. Um, I do love the Refresh Planner font and look of the planner the best. Out of all three of these, the font and the look of the page, Refresh is my personal favorite, but that's just, you know, going to be based on personal opinion. So, but you do have less room in the Refresh. And when I am filling out the Refresh, I can tell that compared to these other two planners. This week I am focusing on um, I like that, but I would actually rather that be taken out. I like the date being big and in bold, but I would actually rather it be a little smaller. And I would like to just have notes lines here for my weekly list. That's just me. That's another personal preference. So I prefer this, but I do like that this is at the top of your week. And I do like how you have kind of a recap of your dates of the week there. Those are the main differences between the, those Ashley Shelley and Refresh. Refresh also has this number line at the bottom, 
And in the color of the month, they actually highlight the number of the days of the week that you're on for that month. You see that? So it's always running 1 to 31, and they highlight the days of the week you're on. I thought that was a kind of um, really smart way to use a border at the bottom. It's very hard to write on the bottom edge of your planner, so there's kind of no point in having anything down there to write on. And this way, you could even circle those days if you wanted to stay, stand out more or highlight them. It just kind of shows you where in the month you are. So I thought that was a genius way to use the bottom border. Like I said, I am 100% head over heels in love with this font. Absolutely love it. This planner is just a little bit small for me. And I do prefer a horizontal most of the time. But I, I love this font and the look of the page. Okay, her color scheme changes by quarters. So she goes by quarters in this planner. Um, so January, February, March are blue. And so that's just what your month looks like. Before each month, you get a page listed for important things this month. So you can use this for anything you want. Goals, just to-dos for the month, anything you need to keep track of for that month. Here is her monthly layout. Once again, I love her font. And you can see how the color of the month flows into your monthly layout and your weekly pages. And like I said, it changes every three months based on the quarter. You do have a typical Sunday start. One thing I want to point out is you already have a little bit smaller boxes because her page is smaller. And then she has used a big margin up here. And so that takes more of your box room too. And then she does put her holidays really big, bigger than other planners, and they are bolded. And for me, just personally, um, I would rather them not be like that. I would rather them be smaller and in very light print because a lot of these are holidays I don't even need to stand out to me. Um, she puts a lot of holidays in her planner that other planners don't have listed, so lots of extras. So I just wanted to point that out that they are bolded and they do take up quite a bit of room on your months. Okay, so your weekly layout, when it's in blue, that's what it looks like. So you have a little blue here and you have a blue border at the top. And then I forgot to mention you have an I'm grateful for every week, which I like that reminder to stick that in there. I always like that in planners when there's room to stick that in. I also wanted to point out for holidays in the refresh, they do take up quite a bit of room on your daily task list. She lists them on the side where you tick off boxes. And so if there's only one holiday, it's only taking up that one line. But if there are like three holidays on that day, that is taking up a lot of your task list for that day. That personally doesn't work for me. So that's something also to note. Okay, so pink looks like this. And then you're gonna go to green. For your third quarter and then you're gonna go to lavender or purple for your fourth quarter okay and that is what your tabbed pages look like and here I don't think I showed you the front of the tabbed pages okay Ashley Shelley doesn't have like a front of her tab pages her week just ends but this is on cardstock okay the tabbed pages and then she just goes into her monthly um, I always do like a monthly that the tab turns directly to your monthly layout. That's another one of my personal preferences. And this, your tab does not turn directly to your monthly layout because it turns to your November list. And then you turn the page to your monthly layout. And once again, you can see how those holidays stack up sometimes and take a big chunk of your day. I love that she has all these extra note pages back here so you don't have to carry anything extra around. I love that it's a little bit smaller which makes it more portable. I, I'm in love with her font. And so there's a lot I love about this planner. And once again, a lot of it is personal preference. So there's just a close up on how your day looks in the Refresh planner. Now, Refresh, her company name was formerly her name, Jalen Designery, um, but it has been changed to Workspacery and she's kind of rebranding and doing a lot of fun stuff. So go check out workspacery.com or check her out on Instagram. Ashley Shelley's on Instagram too. They're both fun people to follow. Okay, now let's look compare at the Inkwell Press. This is the bigger one. 
Um, Inkwell Press has a little bit more goal section at the front here. I forgot I will show you what those have at the front. And like I said, if you want a complete walkthrough of the planner, you can check out each one of those individual videos below. Here is what your Inkwell Press monthly layout looks like. You have more room in the boxes than either one of the other two planners. There's no lines. Inkwell Press holidays are very small and they are your typical holidays and they are very light and light gray. Inkwell Press rotates through four color schemes for your entire year. So January, this is your first color scheme. Then uh, February, this is your second color scheme. And I'll go over those pages. March, this is your third color scheme. And then where's my April? <laughs> April, this is your last color scheme. So your planner then is just going to re-go through all those color schemes. Now, something about Inkwell Press is they have the best paper. Ashley Shelley and Refresh have great paper. Um, I will have to check. I think there's are around 100 to 120 GSM, and it's great paper. It does not show through. It does not bleed through. You will not be complaining about their paper. But Inkwell Press has 140 GSM paper, and it just feels luxurious to write on, like pure luxury. I'll tell you that. Okay, Inkwell Press, in between your monthly, after your monthly view, you have what they call their mission board page and their plan and focus and daily habit trackers. You get three for the month. So this is for every month, you get this two page spread. I showed you the Ashley Shelley two page spread. That's very unique too. And then I showed you the refresh planner just has a one, one lined page per month. So this is your monthly spread. If you want more details on that, go and watch the Inkwell Press video that I've linked below. Okay. One thing that does bother me about Inkwell Press is the color schemes that they rotate through are very muted to me. And I hate to say that because I love so much about Inkwell Press. If you follow me, you already know that. Um, but I really, I wish there was a different color for every month and I wish it flowed with the seasons. And that's just me. And I realize if it flowed with our seasons in America, it would not flow with those outside of the US. I'm sorry, but that's just my personal wish. I also do not love the scripted font that Inkwell Press chose to go with this year, and that's just because it's a personal opinion. It's just not my favorite font. Um, I actually love the font they use for their date below the day of the week, but they put their date really light, and I wish the date was bigger and darker to me. Um, that would be more important than the day of the week being bigger and darker. Well, I mean, I want to see them both, but, and you have your Inkwell Press notes and weekly focus five items down here at the bottom of your week instead of at the top. Like I mentioned in the refresh in Ashley Shelley, you have that section at the top here, which just personally works better for me. One of my favorite things about Inkwell Press is these three boxes on every day though, because they leave it open where you can use those boxes for anything you want. I used them when I planned an Inkwell Press last year for go-tos or appointments for the day. So any errands or appointments I had for the day, they stood out in those three boxes. And I just, I love those. You could use them for your top three for the day. Many people use them to track steps, water consumption, and dinner. Um, people use them for all different things to track their exercise. Um, just they're there and you, people you have used them in so many different ways. You can browse Instagram and see how everybody uses those. I also love that they give you a really long line option because if you choose to write your tasks out longer, which a lot of times I like to do, you can use this whole section and then, you know, my appointments went here. So I really like that. Or you can use the magic dots. <laughs> Let me show you those. So if you look, there's a little dot right here, really light gray, and there's one down here. There's one on every page. There's one on this side too, and here. You use a ruler, and last year I planned some this way too in my Inkwell Press, um, and I drew a line down here, but this is not my 2017 that I planned in, so I don't have that done in here. Um, you draw a line down here, and that can divide this into two more sections. So you could use it divided or not divided. I love they give you those dots to do that. 
That's why their horizontal is called their flex because it's, it's flexible. You can draw that line or not. Some people used it for work and home or just different ways. Then you have three different sections to go on. So I love that option. The magic dots and the three boxes are the most functional things about the Inkwell Press weekly spread to me. At the end of each month in Inkwell Press, you also have a dot grid, notes and ramblings page. So I do like how that is thrown in here every month. You have a notes page every month. Then if you go to the back, there's a few extras in Inkwell Press. We're a little bit stuck here, which happens in O-Ring sometimes, but I don't particularly normally have a problem with this planner. Okay, the gift list. You have a gift list back here for shopping for, ideas, item purchase, spent. That's just really nice to keep track of throughout the year for birthdays or just for Christmas alone. Ideas for me, things you can jot down. So when people ask you what you want, you've been thinking about it during the year when things have come up. This is a travel page where you have three trips worth to fill in here. If you want to keep track of airline info, hotel info, accommodation info on here, then you have room for that. This was new to the 2018 planner. It's a project planning page. There's only room for two projects, but it's a really nice um, project name, brainstorming, budget, tasks, do, timeline, start, finish for your project. And so you have two of those. Then you have a monthly bill tracker, which they have left it open. There's nothing filled in. So you could use it for water, gas, electricity, phone, whatever you want to track. And it just says amount due paid. And I think this is really nice for like, we automatically pay our water bill and our electricity bill. It, it goes auto pay. But for me to write down the amount every month so I can kind of see how much we've spent on electricity every month and how much we've spent on water, it's a really nice tracker for that. Then you get her great, which I love, her grid paper here at the back with their little insignia feather and date and subject up there on the left-hand side. You get a couple pages of notes, not a huge amount, five or six, kind of like the Ashley Shelley planner of notes, but these are bigger pages because it's a seven by nine planner. And you can tell there's just more room. And then you have something which I love, the 2019 look ahead. So it has your months for 2019, but then it also has four lines below every month, which I really love because you can go in and write dentist appointments, doctor appointments, or big trips coming up for the next year before you have your next year's planner. And then it's all in one place to look at when you're planning out 2019. It's all there. So we went over the pocket and everything in the Inkwell Press and how it has a band and the other planners don't. One thing I did not show you is the goal planning in the beginning of the Ashley Shelley. So in Ashley Shelley, she gives you some planner tips from Ashley. She gives you a 2018 inspiration board. She gives you a contacts, favorite meal ideas for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So you can just turn back here and know your favorites. You do have a planning overview, just like Inkwell Press had for the whole year. And then a yearly overview, Inkwell Press also had that and then your 2018 holidays and then you go right into January. So she doesn't have big goal setting stuff in the front like Inkwell Press, but she has her inspiration board instead and a few other things. And refresh, you have your 2018 holidays listed. You have your 2018 at a glance and then she has some goal planning. She has several steps and she takes you through it. One step, two step, three step. And then you have quarter one right here, goal planning. So she breaks it down by quarter. Okay, when quarter one is over, she has another goal check-in here for quarter two goals and quarter three goals. So those are right in between your months when you change quarters. Now, Inkwell Press also checks in with your goals every month on the monthly mission board. All right, so these are three horizontal planners which I absolutely love each one of them for different reasons. They are all great quality. They all have some really great free features that maybe the other one doesn't have. I love them all. And you know, it's just personal preference and what works for you and what you wanna try for that certain year. 
And so because they had such a similar layout, all the horizontal layout, and I wanted to just give a quick overview of these three because after this year of all the planners I've reviewed, these three really are some of my favorites and stand out. And so there you go. If you've used any of these planners, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. I would love for you to tell me what you love about it. And if you're choosing to use that again for a second year in a row, or if you're changing up, I'd love to hear about it. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Happy planning until next time.